Alrighty, welcome back everybody. This is Spider Inc. We're doing another survival chaos here on Warcraft 3 Reforged. And I hope you guys, I hope it's going to be a good one. I hope you are enjoying this. Um, trying to get back into being a little bit better uh, at posting um, and playing the game. I mean, it's kind of hit and miss on if I have time to play the game or not. I'm doing other things, mowing the yard, going out with friends, you know, playing other games, not Warcraft 3, or if Warcraft 3, if I'm recording, but getting a little bit better. Now that it's sunny out, there's more things to do, such as tennis, scuba diving, skydiving, bungee jumping, things like that. That's, uh, tennis and scuba diving are my bread and butter normally. Uh, but it's kind of tough to do those year-round. Costs money. Playing Warcraft 3 Reforged does not really cost money. <clears throat> but, yeah. Hopefully here shortly. Uh, well, I mean, thanks to you guys, my sound quality's get gotten a lot better already. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, hotkey all my buildings. We are Sorok versus... Gnome, Orc, and Rogue. Looking at neutral buildings. Gonna go uh, to the right side probably relatively quickly. What do we want? Um, I almost never go this Vanguard. Heals 100 hit points over 10 seconds. Bash. Let's go for the Vanguard. Also it gives me a thing of rally cry. What's rally cry? Oh, another armor. Okay. So it's gonna re replace my tier one unit here. The self heal over ten seconds and a bash, fifteen percent chance to stun. That looks to be pretty nice, I think. It can be. So that is rogue to the, my right side, so I do think I'm going to go to the right first. He's uh, Orc's got the orb. So he's going to control middle pretty easily, I think. He's got the inve gnomes have the inventor. So now we just don't know what the rogue's bonus is. Actually, only 100 gold away from getting tier 1 here in the very, like, the second wave. So I do think that getting, uh, like, the healing and armor is really going to help out with these vanguards. Just because of the inner vitality. Heals 100 hit points over 10 seconds. The more life you have, the better you have chance of casting it, really. Alright, so who's going to go tier 2 middle? Orc went tier 2 middle. Gnomes have not gone tier 2 middle, and Rogue did not go tier 2 middle. So I think I'm going to go tier 2 left side and then tier 2 middle and start researching. Because by then the orc will be pushing into me, I think. I think I have time for it. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have time to get another thousand gold before the orc really push into me. Or do I have to go middle now? Actually, with the orc, I think I'm with the orc with the orb. I might need to go tier two middle now. Just so I can defend it. 
Gnomes went tier 2 on the side lane versus me. So the orc is definitely holding middle. And is going to be getting the most gold out of all of us. Okay, so I did get that gold mine. That is a tier two of the rogue. Orc has gone tier two on a side lane now. I might get enough gold, but I don't think I'm going to get the bonus building. Come on. 62 gold. 41 gold. Nope. But that's okay. That's, uh... What is that? That's like three units that the, that the gnomes don't get. But that is also units that I'm going to have to buy. It's probably not a good trade for me. Buying units versus just handing over some gold to the gnomes. Alright, so now let's start doing some research. Have my towers try to attack the inventors, which is not happening. They're too far away. Orc is coming in. Rogue is coming in. Highlander Raider, so he's got his tier 2 replacement. Probably going to lose this middle. I got very lucky. I got very lucky that that tier 1 spell showed up when it did. And I have to defend this right side. Tier 2 units. Do they do 50% damage to buildings? Alright. Now I think we are stabilizing just a little bit. Now that we've already had to buy 21 units. That was a very tough defense. Easily could have been middle going down. Easily could have been right side going down. But thankfully that did not happen. Kind of want to go tier 3 middle. while continuing to do research. Or I just go tier 2 base with uh, hero middle and let my hero hold middle until Flint shows up. I think I'll do that. Tier 2 base, hero middle. I 
until Flint shows and Rogue holds middle. Might take out some of the gnomes here. A little doubtful. I think he held on to it. I think he's gonna be fine. He had to buy a few units, repair, tier one spell, but yeah, he's fine. So I'm gonna send out the Dragon Priest, middle. Let's hide my buildings. So let's do attack, let's do armor, and we will push back the gnomes. We will control middle, then we'll probably go like neurotoxin just so we can kill heroes. Now there's a tier 3 from the orc middle, so maybe we need our own tier 3 middle. That's a lot more units that have the lightning. Come on, backstack. That backstab the orc. Don't let the orc attack my, my hero, because that's just going to be bad news as shown by my hero taking a lot of damage already. That's just from like five units. Nimnok is already half dead. Literally half dead. From half the half a unit half a wave in middle. Gnomes are pushing in. That'll be okay. Let's get to tier 3 middle. Rogue will be pushing back. I'm still super low on unit upgrades. Using a tier 1 spell on the left side is going to easily hold it. Alright, so most of yeah, the gnomes have been taken care of. For the most part, at least. Let's take out these inventors with their shields. Don't know why the orcs attacking me, but they are. Isn't good for my uh, unit's life, my hero's life. Going to have to defend right side here very shortly. Try to take care of that. 
Take care of the siege units. Then one at a time, take care of the ranged units. There we go. Nimnok is still taking a crap ton of damage in middle. That's okay though, Thrall's going to win middle, and then they will just push towards me anyways. I really don't think there's anything I can do about it. Because the orc... Yeah. I have a tough time dealing with the gnomes. Let's see here. Get a little bit of neurotoxin. Let's get the rally cry going. Going to have to be ready for a middle push from the orc. That's what happens when you let Orc with the uh, orb just control middle. It's not going to end well for any of us. That's eight attack, three armor. I'm five and five now. No, oh, five and four still. Get the stasis ward. Rogue is pushing back towards me. I've already bought 26 units. Which is crazy. Let's take care of the wizards. That's Sicko. Sicko will easily be able to hold. I'm going Magic Tier 2. The Orc is coming in. So I'm going to have to be aware of that. So I'm going to have to send a hero middle. I wonder if I could redirect like this guy from the left side to go middle. Probably can. Should be able to, depending on when my units spawn, how close they are in my base. There we go. That was a pretty good uh, volley, if I can say so myself. Let's go armor upgrade. Alright, so it should be all of my units attacking Thrall. Let's kill Thrall's wolves first. 
Unless uh, I can get him to be redirected. Oh yeah, Sicko's coming in on the left side. It's gonna be a tier one spell, I think. Not gonna need a tier two spell on that left side. So getting Nimnok to go middle is gonna be great. Get the killing speed. When they kill a unit, they'll attack faster. So I'm not going to use. I'm not going to summon a hero to the uh, goblins. I'm trying to redirect, but it's not working. For the moment. All right, so the redirection kind of worked, brought him closer at least. So in a sense it worked. Maybe I go tier 4 middle. Because of this whole uh, sicko in the base situation. Yeah, the whole sicko in the base is taking the reinforcements that was meant for Nimnok. Okay, so Rogue's Barracks is uh, getting quite damaged, actually. Gnomes are holding off the orcs, interestingly. I do ha now have tier 4 going middle. So maybe now is when I do a Dragon Hide. Or I just continue upgrading my ranged. I'm gonna have to buy probably units for the right side when they eventually show up. That'll probably be a little bit. Yeah, let's get the chance to block. No, let's get the extra armor. No, let's get a chance to block. I also want a chance to evade. I do need some golds. Look at that. He's 14 research ahead of me. I've bought two heroes. That's 3,000 gold. He's 14 research ahead of me. I mean, it's really not that much. I mean, the research, yeah, that's a lot. But being like 3,000 gold ahead. It's really because I've bought so many units. Okay, so I defended this uh, right side without the use of a tier 1 spell. Let's go fortification upgrade.
Okay, so Nimnok is getting out of middle. Kelsey is pushing into me. So I do have to take care of the gnomes here shortly because I do not want to Spitzpatrick. Gnomes are pushing right there on the orc. Orc will be getting pretty quick reinforcements. Still tier two on the base, four fortification. He just got gold coming in all over the place. Uh, it's because I was tier 4 middle is why I kind of pushed through so fast, I think. So, I mean, that would be a huge group that goes middle, but it's not going to be a huge group that goes middle. So Nimnok's going to die. Okay, Rogue did go tier 3 against me, so that means I can counter him with a hero when he eventually pushes towards me. Still tier 2 on the fort, so I don't have to worry about an elevator yet. I do think that's going to be a tier 1 spell on the left side. Gonna be a pretty decent spawn for the units. Okay, let's take care of. There we go. I don't know why you went straight to attacking the barracks. Alright, main base is fine. That is going to be a hero that I'm going to send on the right side. I think I want this tank hero. That should clear up some of the damage here. So going tier 3 on the meeting hall will let me summon a special unit as well as uh, serpent wards for my uh, for my mages. Serpent wards are actually very very good. Bodoron should push back the uh, rogue. So yeah, Serpent Wards do get attacked last, so uh, you can actually stack them up if you have a big enough backline. It's very powerful. I mean, it is a tier 3 spell, so of course it's very powerful. Orc is now tier 3 on their main base, because he's got the tier 3 magic, just like what I'm going for right now. So much gold in middle. That the orc has gotten. But since I did the dragon priest from left side last time, Nimnok from left side, I can send him up the middle. Just straight middle to counteract Thor. Or Thor. To counteract, uh... 
brawl. Gnomes attacking right there, so that was a Rexar sent towards the gnomes. Not yet. That's a tier 3, so gnomes went tier 3 against me. Again, Valderon should push back Rogue. If he doesn't, I will be pleasantly surprised. Or painfully surprised. Or annoyingly surprised. I don't think he is. He's slowly dying. Can't believe I need to go tier 3 with a hero to take care of the rogue. Uh, okay, I guess I don't have to worry about the gnomes. Probably got Korgal sent on him, so he just rage quit. Yeah, Valderon has lost like 3,000 life each each wave that the rogue does. I'm not understanding. So Rexar, tier 2 and a Rexar. And Valderon's going to die again. Or he's just going to die. Don't tell me he's going to get reinforcements right here at the perfect time. Nimnok's going to get his butt kicked. Yup. Okay, so I think I did have to use that tier 1 spell. I really don't want to summon a hero. So I'm being greedy. Alright. Oh, I need fortification. He could have just ultimate weaponed me right there. Tier th 3 fort. Tier 4 barracks. Special units are going to be coming out. I think the first special unit that comes out, I will just ultimate weapon it's probably gonna be right here or else he'd be summoning a hero but yeah those serpent wards are doing so much damage to that barracks that's what did a lot of that damage I 
Alright, so I'm going to summon the lizard to the right side to take care of the rogue. I actually could summon the lizard middle and just summon Nimnok to take care of the rogue. That might be what I do. If I summon the middle lizard to kill Thrall. It's coming from the middle barracks. It's really not that bad of an idea. Yeah, Nimnok can take care of this. I also need to go tier 4 on the right side. So maybe save up a little bit of gold. I mean, I just got the Research complete. last melee damage. So Nimnok right, Lizard middle, tier 4 right. For the mock not There's Nimnok doing Nimnok things. Kind of cleared that whole wave by himself. Tier 3, magic by the rogue. He's now left the game. Okay, so Nimnok and Lizard will take care of Rexar. I'm gonna go Sacy Cox middle. I don't have to go tier four uh, right side anymore. Okay, so Sacy Cox just instantly died, but he got level 3. So good for him. That was a waste of a thousand gold. Those Shadow Wolves are just so strong that Thrall can create. Direct thrall. Oh, so that's the bashes that are happening from my vanguards. Kind of liking that. All right. Don't know why I'm going the tier four health or the tier four unit. Uh, tower research because I only have one of them. It's 
So I think I'm going to do an instant smite on Korgal. Then let's go tier 4 left side. Or tier, yeah, tier 4 left side. Yeah, so he is way high on research compared to me. 20 extra research than me. It's a little bit of a difference. He got more fortification than me, so he's gaining more gold than me. His units are stronger. I guess gold doesn't really matter. Gold only matters in the long run. Or gold doesn't matter in the long run. <clears throat> so we both know each other's ultimate weapons. We both have smite. Probably could have ult almost ultimate weaponed him down. But chose not to. He is almost fully researched, I am not. What does he have on the side lanes? Not good, not amazing neutral buildings. I do have the slumber mill, which is actually helping out quite good. Um, I need to save up gold again. So then I can summon heroes. And then as I push into him, I will uh, into Madman. Then I will start uh, pushing gold uh, research again. But in the meantime, I just need to hang out. He's probably going to summon Korgal, maybe. Kind of interesting that he is winning this. I mean, it must be his unit upgrades that he has. That I do not have. And that I've... Yeah. It's kind of what it's got to be, in my opinion. So I summoned Valderon versus Thrall. Valderon should kill Thrall. If I have smite, that means he has smite again. He's now gone tier 4. I'm gonna go Stacy Cox to the left side. Hoping that Stacy Cox will be able to push the orc. Hopefully that wave survives long enough. I'm gonna have a Nimnok middle. Destiny. 
So that's a Thrall coming at me. Against Sacy Cox, he's level 4. Level 5, actually. I can resummon Sacy Cox from middle. That's not a big deal. So Sacy Cox died. I cannot summon him from middle, but I can go from the right side. I just need some good redirection. I'm sure he's still researching. Get that. I still have a lot of research to do. Bodoron and a tier 3 is not pushing a tier 3. Or is barely pushing a tier 3. It's a little on the sad side. Alright, so I'm going to have to get them relatively close. Like, I have to get them in my base. Okay, so that was a Sacy Cox going to the left, uh, right side. I was hoping he was going to go to the, uh, he's going to, Stacey Cox going to the right, I was hoping he'd go to the left. Let's build, uh, Wolf Riders. How's Nimnok doing? Not good in middle. I had to use a tier 1 spell. That's a Rexar. His unit, he's just so far ahead of me. But I'm constantly sending heroes to try to defend. And not really able to push out on my own. Like half my gold is spent just trying to defend. I 
Let's see here. Are those fake Samiros? Is that the real one out there? Yes, it is. But even with that being the real Samiro. There's no way that I can really keep this off, huh? I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's I'm not even fully researched yet. That was a tier 2 spell. Middle almost died. Right side's gonna die. And Thrall is still in middle. I just don't know what I could do against this. Right now, GG. And then he's going to smite. I mean, if I were him, I would. This thing's burning down, I think. Or it was burning down. And now summon your own special unit. Yeah. I just got... I, I got beat. I got beat. All I can say is uh, the orc definitely did good. Not too sure about this uh, about this bonus. Not too sure about it. See, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end it. There's no way for me to beat him with his research lead. Like, even a tier 4 versus tier 4, he's pushing. But, uh, sorry, man. I know you wanted the, you wanted the win, but... There was literally no way for me to win. So, sorry guys if that uh, was anti-dramatic. Uh, I was kind of done with the game. But uh, you guys take care. See ya.